Abba and our shame. How does God respond to our shame? How did the Father respond to the Son's shame? Did He shame Him? What did He do? First we see, He ran to Him. He welcomed Him. He drew Him in. Oh man, He fell on His neck and cried. Man, can you imagine what that's like? You shouldn't need to imagine. You should know what it's like. Because that is what Abba does for you every single time you fail and come back to Him. He loves you to Himself. He ran out and He met Him. What else, what else happened that shows us the heart of the Father? What else happens? He says, get the best robe and put it on my son. Get the best robe. Listen, man, the Bible teaches us that we are robed in the righteousness of Christ. And I believe that when he calls for the best robe, he is reestablishing his son's identity for his son. You went out and lost the robe of righteousness. You went out. Listen, he didn't lose his salvation, but he lost his identity. He'd forgotten who he was. I, just make me a servant. Just make me a servant. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me the best robe. Wraps it around his son. Give me a ring. Give me a ring for his finger. The signet ring. The family, the family ring. Man, you are my son and you are worthy to me. You are accepted. Give me the ring. Get it. Put it on his finger. This means he's my son. May he never forget it. So he gets a ring, he gets a robe, and this is the thing that, oh, I love this. And I know he had wasted so much of his father's living that he's coming home barefoot, man. He's got nothing. When we talk about blowing it, dude, this guy blew it. Doesn't even have shoes for his feet. And as I'm reading this passage, God's like, hey, Eric, Hey, Eric, listen, man. I don't miss the small stuff. I don't miss the small details. When I restore somebody, baby, I restore them. I am not bringing you in and having a party with a fatted calf and holding over your head those things that you've done. I am restoring you from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. Can I get a hallelujah? I'm telling you, man, this is Abba and our shame. You need to what? What do we do when we find that we have failed? What do we do? Well, first of all, the Bible says he came to himself. The Bible says that he had fallen, he had failed, he came to his senses and he recognized that he had he had lost everything. And so I want to say this. When you are ashamed, when you have fallen, repeat, fall and repeat. When you are ashamed, come home. Come home. Come home. Every time. Come home. Just come home. He is waiting with open arms. If you're not dead, God's not done. Come home every time you fail.